Good evening, my good tenor. Baruch Prime. Yes, the pacifist monk that we all love. Well, I love. Monk. Now, we're going to go over Baruch's abilities very quickly, and then we're going to explain his build. Now, Baruch is amazed, and he takes quite a lot to set up, and he is quite an in-depth frame. So I'm going to try and be as thorough as I can be in a short time, as I don't want to bore you with a 30-minute video. So I'm going to keep it short, sweet, so buckle up, get your popcorn ready, and let's get into it. But first, subscribe. Yep, just, just subscribe. You, you tenor, vibe with me, bro. Don't forget to like. It helps a lot. Thank you, my good tenor. Abilities. Passive. Enemies lulled and projectiles dodge increases Baruch's little restraint bar and quite literally pisses the monk off. Yep. And you also get up to 50% damage reduction, which is pretty cool. First ability is Elude. Dodge all incoming projectiles, but only while not attacking. Second ability is Lull. Put enemies to sleep in a radius that fuels your restraint bar. Third ability is Desolate Hands. Baruch's survivability. Have daggers float around, seeking enemy guns and disarming them. You can combine this with Elude to double the range, although Baruch's one is the Hellman slot, so I would not suggest using Elude. Fourth ability is my favorite ability as you erode your restraint and get entirely pissed off and swap over to your exalted weapon, Desert Wind that allows you to do radial attacks with his fists and feet. As he uses it, he starts to calm down. This also gives damage reduction as well. Now, before we get into the builds, I want to explain some things about Baruch first so that all the things I say in this video just make sense for you and explains why I do the things that I do in this video. Firstly, Baruch has an exalted weapon called Desert Wind. Now, this is a weird one. The damage from Desert Wind is affected by power strings and melee combo counter, and as well mods and buffs, but not buffs like Eclipse. There's a storm has two parts to it. It's a wave attack and it has close quarter attacks as well, which is Baruch's slide attack and slam attack and heavy attack. You get the point. Range mods do not affect the waves, but affect his slide and slam and heavy attack. Now, set mod bonuses do not affect this weapon. However, the Gladiator mod set bonus can be applied to Desert Wind if it's not placed on Desert Wind, but on your melee weapon. So we're going to use a stat stick. The stat stick we'll be using today is the Vassalok because it is the highest pedal count per shot, so it gains combo really quickly for a gun blade. We also run Naramond here with max power spike, so we can keep our melee combo counter up for as long as possible. This is very, very important if you want to enjoy playing Baruch. Another important thing is if you want to gain combo counter from Desert Wind itself, you can only do so by slide attacking and slamming the ground, but you cannot gain combo counter from the waves. That is very, very important for you to understand that. Another thing, Condition Overload does not affect the waves, but it affects the slide attacks and slam. You got that? Good. I hope that clears up some things when I explain the build so it all makes sense. If you are lost, don't worry, it will all come together as I start to explain Baruch. In this video, I kind of just integrated it and explained everything as we go along. So enjoy, watch the whole video, it will all make sense. Great, let's get into the builds. Ignore all these configs I was testing. Now, we have three builds here. The first one is Gloom Baruch. Now, this is just a pure survivability Baruch. We slap on Gloom over Elude, stack strength and a bit of range, and you're good to go. The mods we run are Breeze for Spites, Fleeting Expertise, Primed Flow, and Reactive Storm. This is a must have for every Baruch build. It's what gives him so much damage. And as it states, Desert Wind is granted 250% status chance and changes its damage type to match enemy weaknesses. Basically, whichever status type an enemy is weakest to, it will apply that. So Grenier gets Corrosive, Corpus gets Toxin or Radiation, etc, etc. Blind Rage, Rolling Guard, Equilibrium because Baruch is thirsty monk. Chance in Fortitude, Augur Reach, and a flexible Exodus slot. We then run Molt Augmented. Arcane Strike is very nice to use here because it gives you that extra attack speed. Alternatively, you can run Arcane Energize and Strike. We run low duration so that we can spam lull really quickly to get our restraint down as fast as possible. We run super high strength because the more strength we have, the more damage your reactive storm augment does, thus making Desert Storm do more damage. I put on a bit of range for Gloom, and then I also put on Equilibrium to sustain our energy. Remember, when you run Equilibrium, you need to have the Synth Fiber mod on your companion to make it work nicely. And then we also run Breeze with Spike because Baruch can shield Gate really nicely because he's thirsty. Great. 
As I was editing this video, I realized I had made a mistake. My original explanation was build up combo from your melee and then carry it over to Desert Wind. Now that does work, but it messes up the whole thing. So it messes up the whole combo between the two and they start to clash. The first things first, your melee can be anything really. So just ignore the Vastalock build that I explained later on in the video. You just want to stack the three gladiator mods on your stat stick so you can apply 30% critical chance per combo multiplier to your Desert Wind. Wind. And then you want to build up combo with your desert wind, not your melee. Remember, I mentioned earlier on the only way to do that is to slam attack and slide attack with desert wind. So you mainly want to build up combo with your desert wind and don't want to build up with your melee. I'm going to keep explaining that because it's a bit confusing. But I'm here to say that if you do land up building a combo with your melee instead of desert wind, it's okay. What you can do is just heavy attack and it will reset the combo to zero for your melee and then start building up your desert wind. If you do keep it on, your melee it will be inconsistent but you will still red crit and orange crit so it's a bit weird and it's finicky i hope that made sense but the bottom line is if you are still confused about what i just said now the bottom line do not build combo with your melee build combo with your desert wind which is why this leads me to the stat stick build now vastalock equals gunblade equals many pellets so a lot of combo gained really quickly high noon gladiator might gladiator rush and gladiator vice this gives us the set bonus of 30 percent critical chance like i mentioned earlier shattering impact to armor strip certain tough enemies quickening body count true punishment and drifting contact we run those mods to stack up as much combo gain and duration as possible to keep it up while we're smacking air into enemies Build 2, Tharos Strike, Baruch of course utilizing armor strip, this does big damage, of course, it's armor stripping. Every build you see here will pretty much be the same with just some minor adjustments here and there. We run Streamline and Augur Reach for Tharos Strike to armor strip comfortably, otherwise the mods are the exact same. There's not much needed to explain for this build, it just smack enemies with shields in the faces. Build 3, Mag Pool Baruch, this is super fun to play. To go around pulling enemies in a group the only thing about this build is different is instead of using fleeting expertise or equilibrium we run umbral intensify so we can do more damage on our reactive storm augment run around pull enemies in and apply a whole bunch of status effects you can prime them as well and just literally slide through them and insta kill them literally just one shot them no problem the arcane stay the same for all builds the exiluses are also still flexible slots so you can run anything alternatively you can use lava you can use air burst or ensnare as as well for pulling in enemies with this build you can run an epitar primer this is the build that i run lethal torrent frostbite pistol pestilence sure shot amalgam barrel diffusion auger seeker anemic agility and jolt now if you decide to build the heat on your desert wind you can also run archon vitality this will work as a great alternative option great let's talk about desert wind so as reactor storm applies the data effects the enemies as weak as two we can run many elements we want but the ones you want to build for are corrosive for that extra damage alternatively flat toxin for corpus and also a flat heat build for damage over time build this build is inspired by gamble as i spoke to him a bit and he gave me inspiration for the setup so go and check out his channel the link will be in the description below for the corrosive build we run sack Sacrificial Steel, Gladiator Might, Organ Shatter, A Bane of Choice, Berserker Fury, Prime Pressure Point, Shocking Touch, Prime Fever Strike. For Heat, we run the exact same thing, except we add Gladiator Vice and Molten Impact for Heat. For the Toxin build, it's the same thing, just add flat Toxin damage for Corpus enemies. Now that is all explained, let's talk about Baruch and some final thoughts about him. What is he good for? Well, he's kind of a niche frame. He's only really good with a whole bunch of enemies around him so that he can lower his restraint. So he needs a lot of enemies around him at all times. So he doesn't do well in capture or exterminate missions. He makes a great clearer for void cascade or disruption or survival as well. And he shreds still path enemies with his fourth. Like it, it's it's super easy. He's got a decent amount of survivability. He's got about 90% damage reduction as well as his passives, his fourth ability as well. And he has shield gating if you put beast or spider on and you have rolling guard so there are a lot of defensive layers to him he's got a crap ton of energy as well which is also great overall he's just an insanely fun frame to play like really fun to play it's like playing ang from avatar the last airbender he's so satisfying nothing beats seeing funny red numbers on your screen it's just awesome i would highly suggest baruk he is literally my favorite frame in the game on that last note you can run archon shards with them as well you can put on casting speed as well as melee critical damage that will work and you can mix it up to whatever makes you happy another good helmet for him is nourish for big damage boost i just don't have nourish which is sad phew that, that was a lot right yep that, that was a lot of info 
I hope that covers pretty much everything and I hope it was easy to understand and yeah please let me know in the comments below if you guys enjoyed the video it would really mean a lot to me I hope you did and don't forget to hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe thank you all so much for watching I will see you all in the next one I hope you guys enjoy smacking air into enemies have fun bye